Did you see um, the scooter? Not not your, not the, but the one that was like the the lady and the kid on front. Did you see that? Oh yes, I did a lot. That was crazy. I don't know what I think about that. How about I don't. You? I, don't oh, I, I was wondering if it was like some sort of like maybe it was like hey maybe it had one of those like deeper heartfelt meanings like maybe it was, maybe she had like some terminal illness and she was spending one last day with her right. with her grandson so her she was like hey grandson wanna ride around with me on my scooter in the middle of the road like okay right <laughs> or maybe she was just a knit <laughs> crazy yeah yeah maybe it has nothing to do with dying I don't know I don't know she looked like she could have either had a terminal illness or been just bad crops <laughs> I, I I assume it could have been either. But the thing is, that's, the, that's literally the first thing I saw when I came out here and <laughs> sat down. So I was thinking, well, oh, the things you see when you actually go outside. Right, lad. Like, I was, I was driving down when I saw that, you know what I'm saying? I almost wrecked. I was like, what? <laughs> Man, you know, yeah. I always uh, get road rage over people who rubberneck, but you can bet that my neck was rubber at that moment in time. I don't have ice, but it's been in the, fri- it's been in the fri- fri- fridge. You never fridge need ice for scotch, lad. Yeah. Specially fermented. Oh yes. Well, did you say this was fifty years? Yes. <sighs> this is gonna be so smooth. Fifty-two, in fact. Lad, I'm Irish. You did great. <laughs> I like it. Remember that time we were in Vietnam? Oh, <laughs> Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> Judging by my age, a whopping month ago. <laughs> right. I wonder how many weird things you could see in the span of about an hour, roughly. I don't know. See a woman on her sco- on her <laughs> wall on her Walmart grocery shopping scooter. Right. Did she steal that or something? <laughs> right. Did she just go to Walmart and be like, you know what? My grandson would love to ride in the street with this thing. I'm just gonna. St- Take this back to my house. Mine now. Maybe she doesn't even live here. Maybe she's just like literally. Have you? Um, I don't remember what it's called. There's like this movie about a guy who goes to visit his brother, but he doesn't have like a car, so he rides his tractor the whole way. Really? But like maybe that's what she's doing. Maybe she's like, maybe she's ridden that thing like thousands of miles. If so, dang, <laughs> she's way better shape than I am. <laughs> Gets on the interstate, runs for a minute, jumps on the back. Whee! <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe she's stolen multiple shopping uh, scooters. Like, that's like the tenth one she's gone through. Like the White Widow. I called her the Black Widow, but she's obviously not. You have to be Black Widow. Silver. Silver Widow. See that guy across the street? The house? Mm-hmm. See all those trees? Mm-hmm. Well... Every, almost every year, whenever there's, like, some major storm or, like, s- like snow or rain, one of his trees always seems to fall down, and it's, like, this, it's kind of, like, the saddest thing, because yeah. whenever you're driving by and you see, a, you see a tree fall down, like, well, another one of Bill's trees fell down, <laughs> okay, okay. and it's, you kind of feel bad for him, like, ah, oh, man, what a poor guy. It's like, it's like in the middle of the night, you should, oh, Bill. We've had, <laughs> we've had these four trees or whatever, five, mm-hmm. roughly. You know, ever since, I don't know, whenever we moved here, 1997 or something. Mm -hmm. And not one of them is fault. Makes me wonder what Bill's doing to his trees that makes them want to die so bad. Maybe they just... see a tree rapist? (sighs) Gives Naughty Alder a whole other meaning. (laughs) That was a bad one, sorry. Continue with what you were going to say. I don't don't know what I was going to (laughs) say. I think maybe my point was done, but I don't know. My stupidity rubbed off. Uh, I just keep seeing a bunch of stuff in nature, and I keep thinking of different things to talk about. Like, I think I see a bird's nest maybe up there. Maybe that's like an old bird's nest. Talking about right up there? Yeah. Yeah, that's a bird's nest. That's an old bird's nest. Uh, I remember when I used to go outside more often, I'd sometimes find bird's nests, you know, with actual eggs in them, mm-hmm. or even live hatchlings. Mm-hmm. There was one time when, um, like, in the back area where mm-hmm. my, uh, where the bathroom is, mm-hmm. on the windowsill, there was, like, a bird's nest right there, so you could actually see it from the window. Yeah. That was interesting. Must have been pretty cool. Yeah. Were there, like, hatchlings in it? Yeah. Huh. So you see the mom come and throw up in their mouths and stuff? 
Uh, no, I don't think the Take my was, love back! I don't think the mom was, like, wanting to come close if we were around. I see. But, but the hatchlings were always there. If you ever saw the, like, the back window, you'd see, like, a small little rip in the shade because mm -hmm. I actually cut a hole in it because I couldn't just lift, <laughs> I couldn't just lift it. Mm -hmm. So I had to, like, so I was, I was kind of like, like a, like a peeping Tom, except on mm -hmm. birds. <laughs> what would you call that? What's a bird affiliated name? Robin. You can Robin? I don't know what to, uh, It has to rhyme with Robin, though. You know what I mean? It has to, like Peeping Tom, it has a flow. Dun dun. It has to be like dun 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 dun. You know what I mean? That's new. Huh. You know what I'm talking about? No, not really. The big hole in that person's <laughs> workshop. Oh. <coughs> I thought you'd. Well, that's been there, like, since I got out here, so oh, I, thought, yeah. I was wondering why you just noticed that, so I thought, well, he surely came talking about the hole in the thing. <laughs> well, I mean, I noticed it, but... Speaking of holes, mm -hmm. maybe two nights ago, like, mm -hmm. maybe, like, Thursday, Wednesday night, I uh, had this dream, and main, the only part I really remember about it was um, uh, my room had all these, like, ho like holes in the wall. Was it, like, perfect holes either? It was, like... It looked like something I'd eaten through it, you know, like some oh. large, like a bunch of, mm -hmm. like, insects that made their home inside my walls or something. So, like, there's a bunch of, like, you could see kind of like the, like, the ripped away cardboard and, like, the, you know, like, the foundation mm -hmm. and the pipes. So, but it was kind of one of those, like, it was kind of one of those, like, trypophobia things, like, where you just see a hole, but you don't really see what's inside it. Don't get me started on trypophobia. <laughs> don't, don't get me started. <laughs> but the, the point is that, like, there was, like, a bunch of... Like maybe there was like two or three holes, but it had that effect. Yeah. Like you didn't know what was inside it, so it kind of like, like kind of creeped you out. So I remember I like I went to get someone in my house. Like maybe it was like my brother or my mm -hmm. mom. And I remember like we couldn't we we went to the room mm -hmm. and we you know how in your dream you sometimes kind of just know what's inside something. Yeah. Well, like I I guess I kind of knew what was inside the mm -hmm. hole, so I, I guess maybe I figured it was mainly just rats mainly. Mm -hmm. But there was like this one like hole like near the top of the corner of like mm -hmm. my. Um, my closet, mm -hmm. like I have two closets, one on this side, this side, and it was like on this closet, mm -hmm. and it was like near the top, and like there was like this, this like bug that was maybe like this long, maybe that came out. Gosh, and man, it kind of like it kind of like pinchers or something, and it it had like this golden kind of like this golden honey colored body. You know, can you can you picture it? Yeah, I am <laughs> with like legs. I don't know if it flew or not, but, you know, in my dream, I'm like, oh, crap, like, I don't want the thing getting touching me. Yeah. So I grabbed, like, a blanket or something mm -hmm. thick, and I kind of just grabbed it, mm -hmm. and I tried to, like, just kind of squish it, but mm -hmm. it had, like, this really, like, thick, hard, like, exoskeleton. exoskeleton. So I so I was like, well, I'm not going to let it go now and fear what <laughs> might happen. So I, I literally, like, put all my might into just crushing this thing and pulling it apart, and it was like... It had like the inside consistency of like a like a like a lobster, like a cooked lobster. Mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of like so breaking meat. Yeah, I'm stuff. basically just breaking this bug apart. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, and then I woke up, and I don't really know what the point of the dream was, but that's all I remember is like there was these walls on the side of my room. Mm -hmm. There was this bug that I crushed, and that's pretty much it. I had a really weird lucid dream last night, and it freaked me out. <laughs> it was like I don't even know what happened. I don't, I know. All of a sudden, like as soon as I started dreaming, I was running. And I knew, because of how fast I was running, that this was a dream. I also knew because I had like sensor bars, like an HP bar up here, mm. and like an item, an inventory thing on the bottom of my vision. You know, it was like a, my vision was like in a video game. Yeah. Like, think, have you ever seen Sword Art Online? Yeah. You know how when they see through there, when they see in, in that world, they have the, like, the cursors and everything? Yeah. That's, that's kind of how I was seeing and I was running, and, man, everyone was dead. Like, everywhere I go, it would be just like the real world, except everyone was dead. There was people I didn't know that was dead, there was people I knew that was dead, and the strangest part was, when I got to my house, I found my own body, and it was dead. And I was like, you know what I mean? So then, the zombie kids come out. And they weren't like kids. Mm. They looked like ancient creatures, but they were just small like kids. So I call them kids, but they looked like Smeagol. You know what I mean? Like really gross Smeagols. And they all had machetes dripping like yellow blood. <laughs> and they were chasing me. Okay. And then all of a sudden I was in a water tower. 
Uh -huh. And I was fighting this thing, and I had a like a spoon, a silver spoon. And I was fighting this dude with like a fallout suit on, mm. with like three guns, right. and he fell off the top of the water tower and then landed on a beam on the side of the water tower. Mm. And I remember jumping down and missing the beam. <laughs> so I'm plummeting. And right before I wake up, I remember thinking, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. At least I'll wake up, I'm going to die. Because I couldn't wake up, you know. I had to die to wake up. But there's always that aspect of fear because, you know, even though you know you're dreaming, you're like, I still am killing myself. This is sort of weird. Yeah. But uh, I remember right before I wake up, I bounced off the ground and my HP, HP gauge only went down like that much. <laughs> and then I woke up. <laughs> I got the perfect title for the first YouTube video. Hmm. We don't know what we're talking about. We t we talk about we go from we go from lady on the scooter having some weird terminal terminal illness story to tree rapists to ass projecting lucid dreaming mm -hmm. to blood. It's like what are we what are we gonna call this? I don't know. Let's just call it a two guys on the porch <laughs> porch talk number one. We don't know talk. what we don't know what we're doing. No, we will we will on the second episode. I really don't like the Camaro that much. I mean, it's fast, and it's a good car, and it works really well, and it's in great condition. But it's big. <laughs> it's a big thing, you know? Like, I've been riding on motorcycles and scooters for the last two years, mainly. And small, small cars, like contours. <laughs> so going from that to a Camaro, it was kind of like... feels like I'm driving a truck all the time. A really fast truck. <laughs> Have you ever just had the urge, spontaneously, to go pee on a fire hydrant? You know, not really, but I guess now that you mention it, it does seem like something I would want to do for some weird reason. Before you die, right? You want to be able to look at that fire hydrant and be like, I pissed all over you. <laughs> so these are Crocs. Crocs. Mm. Never seen Crocs like this. No. I mean, I mean, I've seen you know Crocs that had no holes in them, but not like that. Mm -hmm. They're really comfortable. It's like an air memory foam pad. It's really, they're really comfortable. <laughs> Crocs are like that thing that was a thing for a while, and then stopped, they, and then they weren't a thing. And <laughs> right. And now they're a the thing again. Another thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking about we were making up this whole we were making up this story about the woman on the scooter. Mm -hmm. We For once, she traveled. We need to wink, wink. Hungry. We need to wink, wink. Figure out what is going on with that yelping dog over there. Terrified. Do you want? Do you want me to ride over there real quick? No. Do you want to hop on the back and we'll ride over there real quick? Uh, no. I think that what happened was the woman on the motorized scooter was driving around the was driving down the road, but her son was like, but her grandkid or whatever was like on the front, so she couldn't quite see. She ran over the dog. She ran over the dog. Straight through the fence over the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and she just kept driving because she was like, well, I don't want to be guilty of dog slaughter, so... What are you talking about? She didn't see what she was doing for her kids in the way. She was going, I wonder what I hit. <laughs> Go on. You know, at her age, she won't be able to hear the dog yelping. Honestly, no, that's sad, too. <laughs> yes. But true. Kind of makes me feel like a bad person, but an honest bad person. So, I know this is called porch time, but we were talking about this woman on a motorized scooter, and a dog's yelping, and we're just gonna go find them and show you guys, because I know you're probably like, what? Should I just, like, get up my scooter and do a once-over real quick, find um, them before we start walking? I f you could, but I feel like it might just make it good for the video if I if we walk to. Mm -hmm. you, you, can, you can get on your scooter, I'll... Alright, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna ride around in a circle until I find her. I would have been through this. She's not here anymore. Huh. Huh, what's the scoop? She's not here anymore. Huh. We tried. Yeah. We really did. She is gonzo. Don't know where she went. <sighs> Just remember, people. Uh, this is our... Awkward, awkward first episode outro. We, yeah. we don't know what we're doing yet, but you know, we're working. Right. Introverts unite. We're here. We're uncomfortable, and we want to go home. Perfect shirt for me. Right. So, so we'll see you later. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.
subscribe and like. Yes, do both of those things. Those would be amazing. Yeah. Peace out.